bus. This is a, a short bus. Lucas, come on. Let's get to the Heading to church. It's going to be a good night. We're here at the church. And uh, so here's the thing that I love about being able to, whenever God gives me this opportunity to speak out in these churches out here in more rural areas, um, is that there's something about it that, you know, God, he, he does, of course he does, and he will move in much larger congregations, but there's something about these smaller congregations. I'm going to show you guys outside. You can see it's very basic. They still have all the drywall up and stuff. Floors are still concrete, you know, but there's, there's something about these churches, the smaller churches, where there seems to be such a level of faith because they're depending on God for everything. You know, everything is up. You know, if God doesn't provide, then they're in trouble. You know, these, this church here, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see there's concrete walls behind me. That's actually the vision, vision for this church is the concrete walls here is the, the size that they, they believe God wants the church to be. It's fit for, I believe they said it was 900 people. And in the meantime, they've set up this kind of ramshackle church here with um, tin roofing. And so what I love about it is there's such this level of faith that whenever you can build up that faith in people, and especially in these services, you know, I like to share stories of miracles that God has done. What happens is because that faith, they're already at a faith level where they're believing for God. They're all, the Bible talks about people being, the people being in ex expectation of God to move. And so when, they, when these little churches are here, they already have such an expectation. They already have such a, a longing to see God move that whenever somebody comes in, like myself or any, anybody else, when we come in and we move in the power of God, it's so much easier to get that breakthrough in the Spirit. It's so much easier to get that, that move of God, to get, the, to get that movement of the Holy Spirit going on and getting those miracles to, to manifest in the kingdom of God to just invade the, the, the area that we're in because even though it isn't pretty, you know, I mean, this is the most basic kind of church you can get to. But because of that, it's so easy. Like when we were in Nicaragua uh, uh, two months ago, we were in a really small church as well. And the power of God just came in. And I mean, it was just awesome. There was this one woman that I prayed for. And all I did was just go up and just say, you know, the Lord loves you. Just gave her, you know, a word. And whenever I gave her that word, the Holy Spirit just, whoa, just moved in. And she just... Um, oh, cuidado. There's a motorcycle coming. There's kids. Just prayed for her. The Holy Spirit came in and just whacked that woman. And she, um, people had, they fell over, you know, she got caught. And she was just trembling for the rest of the service. And so it's just incredible. Um, to get, it's, it's so much easier to get those kinds of miracles. And there are, there are larger, larger churches. I've been in large churches where, you know, there is that faith level. But the larger churches, the big churches, uh, sometimes they're so programmed that it's difficult, but not always. I mean, you, I've been in really, some of the biggest churches in the world, like, you know, um, South Korea, you know, one million person church, and they've got regular miracles going on. Bethel Church in Reading, you know, miracles regularly going on. It, it, the size has nothing to do with it. It has nothing to do with the amount of people because the body of Christ is massive, of course. But it has to do with that expectation level that is in the congregation. So, you know, it's just like, you know, the Bible talks about how it's difficult for a wealthy person to come into the kingdom of God. It's not because money is evil. It's not because wealth is evil. It's because people who are wealthy tend to stop trusting in God. And trusting in God is where, you know, that breakthrough comes. It's, it's walking in faith, walking on those waves, walking on the water. That's where faith breaks through. And if you've already set yourself up to where you don't need to trust God, it's much more difficult. You know, it's like uh, when we go to the mountains and when we go to rural places like this, it's easier to get miracles not because God prefers to work here rather than in big churches, but because people have no other options here. You know, we pray for a person with cancer here. If they don't get healed, there's no other options. They can't, you know, they can't go to the doctor and get treatment and, you know, make their lives longer. They don't have money for it. I mean, the people we work with, a lot of them, they don't even have a quarter to pay for the bus to get them to the hospital. So this is why it's such a blessing to me. And I'm, I'm excited. It's going to be a good service. And uh, we're gonna. This is gonna be a good week. We're we're speaking uh, three more nights aside from tonight before we move on to our next city. So uh, we're excited. I, to, before I sign out here, I wanted to show you. This is the pastor's office. He just got this set up today while we were here. It's just wood 
they have this <laughs> announcement board that's unused. And then uh, the desk, Bible, Bible, keys. What else do you need? I mean, it's pretty awesome, right? Just prayer, word of God, and the keys to get into the church. So God is good. I got to get in there. Um, they're sweeping, and I'm going to see what I can do to help. Check this out, friends. Look, you need some sound help for your, for your church. Look at this. Eggshell cartons. They have hundreds of them lining the roof. They said there was such an echo in here. And it was so bad that it was messing up the, the acoustics. So there, they used eggshell egg, egg cartons to fix it. And now it sounds awesome. <laughs> Well, that's the service. We're all done. It was a lot of fun. It's pretty cold out here tonight. I'm a little, I feel actually a little bit warm myself because of all the you know, preaching and stuff. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe and like and share and do all of the amazing things that you guys do whenever you like videos. And we'll see you again very soon.